Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the 16-inch Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. To open this mighty machine, you have to undo 10 Phillips head screws. Then, flip the laptop and pop the zones around the plastic shrouds of the four vents on the sides and the back. Insert a thin plastic tool in between the base and the bottom panel. Lift up the tool until you hear a pop sound, and do so for all other areas. Pry the middle of the rear and turn over the device. Slightly raise the back of the panel, pry the mid and front sections of the plate, and lift it away from the base. Our laptop has the optional 99.9 watt hour battery. The default version is an 80 watt hour unit. To take it out, unplug the connector from the mainboard and undo the six Phillips head screws that keep the unit fixed to the chassis. The top left screw is hidden beneath the metal SSD shroud and you have to remove it. For storage, there are two M.2 slots compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. Both are covered by metal plates that are fixed to the base with three Phillips head screws. The battery has enough juice for around eight hours of web browsing or six hours of video playback. Not bad given the powerful hardware and high resolution display. To achieve that, you have to select the IGPU only mode, the balance preset, and turn on the adaptive refresh rate function in the Lenovo Vantage app. Last but not least, apply the Optimus display mode in the NVIDIA control panel, set the performance mode setting to default in the BIOS, and select the balanced preset in the Windows power and battery menu. Each plate has a thermal pad on the inside for cooling the NVMe.
The ram zone is protected by a metal plate and you can lift it with a lever tool. It's strange that such an expensive device lacks thermal pads for additional memory cooling. According to Lenovo, the two SODIMs support up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 MHz RAM in dual-channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The Legion Cold Front Vapor Chamber Thermal System is massive. Most of its components are hidden, but the two large fans and the four heat sinks are visible. Also, the cooling makes contact with the chipset, which is good.